I guess it was a little hard coming back and adjusting because it's a little bit colder here than in Fiji. Um, but it's been great catching up with everyone and telling my story to everyone as well. So it's been a good time. Um, I think the most outstanding part of my study in Fiji was learning, learning about other cultures. Um, my units focus on Pacific contexts in general, which here um, I didn't really get that chance. So it was good to mix with other cultures and uh, learn their way of life. Um, the most challenging bit was uh, their class sizes were huge and the university was huge so I had trouble <laughs> navigating and also I think they're a bit slow, they do things a lot slower than I do so I had a hard time adjusting to um, how they do things as well so that was the most challenging bit. So the one thing I think that I won't forget is just the fact that anyone will do anything for you so the Fijians will just open up their homes to you, offer you food, help you with anything um, and it could be a random person on the street, um, not necessarily your, necessarily your friends so I think that that's something I won't forget. Oh. Sure I got nominated by CDU um, and then I looked into it, did some research on the new combo plan and past scholars and thought it'd be a good experience um, and there was a lot of host locations you could choose from um, so it took a while to choose that I wanted to go to Fiji um, and then once I chose, once I thought that it would be a good experience, I did more research and uh, put in an application and yeah, was successful. I'm most looking forward to going back and seeing all the friends I've made at uni, um, catching up with those guys and then yeah, starting my internship, so working and applying what I've learnt in Fiji um, into a practical context and um, yeah, learning, being fully immersed in a culture. So I'll be living in a village for three months um, with not mat much access to the outside wor world. So um, that would probably be the most interesting thing. Um, and I guess that in itself is a challenge. All the networks I've made, um, so not just personal but professional networks, um, which will help me, I guess, if I want to engage in the region when I finish my degree. I think that's the most useful part of this whole experience and I guess anyone that wants to study abroad you have those connections um, that you can always uh, get in contact with if you want to go and work in that um, area. So for me I think if I want, wanted to go back to Fiji or um, any of the other islands around there I've met people um, from all over the world as well so um, those connections have been built and um, it, I guess it kind of smooths the transition if I wanted to go and uh, work in Fiji in the future.